hi thanks for clicking on to this video in case you don't know who i am my name is gloria and i'm a junior doctor living in ghana on this channel i share content on medicine lifestyle and faith and so you're welcome to enjoy this video that's related to medicine okay and it's basically how i got into medical school so um it's going to be a story time i'm going to be sharing the entire process from the schools i applied to the examination the interview everything okay and so you want to make sure that you stick till the very end okay let's get it the way the education system in ghana works is that you do like primary school just like class one to class six then you do your junior high school just like jhs one to jhs three then you go to secondary school i went to secondary school for three years so um in your final year of secondary school you're basically preparing to take this very important exam which is called wasi okay and wasi is like west african senior secondary certificate exam or something but basically this is like your ticket into tertiary like institutions so you need to take this exam and so i i was preparing for this exam in my last year of um um, secondary school which is in 2013. I've known I wanted to be a doctor since maybe I was in junior high school so when I was like my early teen years I knew for certain that I wanted to become a doctor so I did science in secondary school because of that and um, because if you want to do medicine in Ghana most of like you have to have done some basic electives and so science is like the course that would allow you to do those electives which will allow you to read medicine so i was in form three and preparing for my wasi but the good thing is that you sort of or the way the system works is that you sort of apply into medical school before you finish secondary school like if you want you sort of apply into university before you finish secondary school so um that came like the moment of okay so which medical schools do i go to like which medical schools do i apply to okay and um at the time I was applying into medical school or finishing secondary school. There were just four universities in Ghana that offered medicine, okay? And these four were University of Ghana, Legon, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, University of Cape Coast in Cape Coast, and then University of Development Studies in Tamale. So now there are more, there are more medical schools, but then at, at the time, there were just these four schools. Um, and you can you can apply before you even finish your exam okay so i applied somewhere around like january february i can't remember exactly but around january february of 2013 and the wasi was going to be around um may of that same year and so i ended up applying to two medical schools out out of the four and the two that I applied to was university of ghana and kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology now the reason why i didn't apply to the other two are very simple and i'm going to explain it okay i didn't apply to university of cape coast because they were offering a strictly fee paying program at the time and what fee paying program meant was that you won't be paying like regular fees so if the regular person's paying like thousand ghana cities the fee paying person's probably paying like six thousand ghana cities so it's like five six times the regular amount essentially and in ucc their medicine program was strictly fee paying and i knew that i wasn't in the position my parents weren't in the position to um, be able to do that so i didn't even bother applying to university of cape coast i didn't apply to university of development studies that's uds in tamale because there were more cons than pros okay so the cons was that one it was in tamale which i felt was too far because my family lived in accra all of my like all of my family immediate and even like most of my extended family that i know are in accra and then um it just felt too far i had like an auntie who had gone there and she was like she didn't like the fact that i was so away so it was just like no and then at the time they were offering a seven year medicine program whereas the other schools were all six years so right now they are also six years but at the time i was entering like go applying to medical school seven years i was like um nope i'm not going to do an extra year <laughs> um so what else was it yeah, it was really the distance and then the fact that they, they are, their program was like seven years. I was like, nah, so far, I can't do it. So I just applied to Legon and Tech, okay? Tech is KNUSC and Legon is University of Ghana. So I'm just going to, like for the rest of the video, just keep that in mind. Um, so out of these two, which one did I really want? I wanted Legon, okay? I wanted to go to University of Ghana Medical School that was my dream school okay that was my dream university and it's not because of anything guys okay 
before anyone it's not because of academics it's not because of or the lecturers are this or they produce better doctors or even social life like it was not any of those things the entire reason why i wanted to be in lagos was because it was close to home it was in accra and kumasi was like farther away kumasi is like five hours six hours by bus from accra so i was like yeah i'm going to go to ug that was what i wrote like you know how you write things in faith i had this paper in secondary school i wrote the grades i wanted i wrote the school i wanted i wrote in faith i'm like yeah i'm going to university of ghana <laughs> hey mm. anyway let me continue the story so i applied to these two universities right and then i went on to write my um my secondary school exam in may i finished in may i remember and then between finishing the exam and then getting your results there's a gap of like let's say three months there's a gap of like three months and so i essentially um had to wait for the results to come out um and so after a while the results came out and um the results don't come out at the same time as the university placement okay so the results came out first and i remember oh my god the tension is getting tensions in here when results was bc or what results are released in this country hmm, there's this crash card that you typically need to check your results and the demand for it on the first day is crazy my dad was not able to get his hands on it and i remember that it was like a friday so we had to wait the entire weekend till monday to be able to get this scratch card monday eventually rolled up and my dad was able to get for me and i went home pop, 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 checking and um yeah i was excited because i did well i passed my exams um i got all a's except for physics okay i got a b in physics and <laughs> Even that alone is a testimony to God because see that physics exam. If you wrote physics in 2013, you know, please comment because that exam, and I didn't even have like a strong physics foundation. <laughs> so I was happy with my results. Okay, I was like, ah, it's not bad. At least I did well. Everyone was happy, but I was still a bit shaky because um the thing with medical school is that a lot of people apply to medical school first of all second of all a lot of people who do really well apply to medical school so you can do what like you can literally get like all A's even and still not really get into medical school because it's just very competitive okay and so i was still like my friends were like where are you gonna get you're gonna get in like you did well you got you got a, like um because even though i didn't get all A's i did still get like this thing called an aggregate which was like six i got the perfect aggregate so um I, but i still i still um i still wasn't like at ease like i still didn't feel like ah, like that is a done deal i'm going to medical school no like i was still like i don't know because i don't know what if a lot of people go sometimes if a lot of people even get eight a's they'll not even call people who got seven a's sometimes so i was like oh i don't know anyways the results came out a couple of weeks later i'm at my auntie's place i'm just chilling enjoying life um just 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 feeling free i mean this is after this is after secondary school this is when you start braiding your hair you start fixing weaves you know you're feeling cool and jiggy i'm just feeling cool and jiggy living my best life okay and then um i get a text message on my phone and this text message is from Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology and basically they were inviting me to their um, examination and interview for their medical school guys I screamed I screamed my head off I was so excited because I was like oh my god oh my god even though like I said <laughs> tech wasn't a school I wanted to go to okay so I but I was so excited because I was like at least I, I I got called, meaning that generally I'm 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 setting up like I'm being set up for medical school. So um, this was Thursday. I received the text message on Thursday. The exam was for Monday, guys. Now I'm in Accra. Okay, I live. I was living in Accra, and this exam is in Kumasi. So <laughs> I couldn't even learn. Okay, <sighs> please. I couldn't let this it was Thursday evening and I was already at my auntie's place. The next day I had to go back home, I had to start packing. I had to go out with my mom to go and shop for like um outfits that I'll wear for the interview potentially. Like it was just up and down, up and down, up and down, trying to get things sorted out. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go with the Lord. We're just gonna go with residual information. Like my father helped me. 
um we went to Kumasi on Sunday by VIP. I remember it rained so heavy that Sunday and the journey was so long. I kept on saying that why aren't we there yet? Why aren't we there yet? How far? How much more? <laughs> And the thing was that my mom didn't even know because my mom too, like, she hasn't been to Kumasi so many times, so she did not know the road like that. So it was a woman that was sitting by me that I kept on disturbing, like, are we there? He's like, are we there yet? And this woman just kept like, no, like, no. But eventually we got there, and the next day, Monday, I went to write the exam. Now, before the exam, I remember that one of my friends, because one of my classmates, she also was there. Like, a couple of my friends and classmates were also at the um, exam. So, her sister came along with her. And her sister, like, had, like, a camera, like, a her phone camera on. And she was asking, like, us, like, my friend group, that, like, oh, how are we feeling before the exam, blah, blah, blah. And, guys, I... <laughs> I was not nervous for this exam and it wasn't because I felt like I had learned or I was smart or anything like that the entire reason why I was not nervous was because I was like well I don't really want to go to KNUSD I don't really want to go to tech so this is just like a practice round for Legon and so like please I'm not nervous like I'm just going to do what I can do and it's just going to help me to prepare for when Legon eventually calls me <laughs> So we go and write this exam. Now, some people in my recent video, people wanted to know, like one of the videos I did about medical, it was a medical attack. People wanted to know how the whole thing was like. So we event we essentially were in like classrooms and um we just it was like an exam, honestly. It was from everywhere. Like there was biology, there was physics, there was chemistry, there was math. It was really a mix of everything. I can't remember if there was like English and there was definitely no social studies or stuff like that now nah. but I, I don't i don't i don't think it was english i think it was just like the elective subject um and it was just from everywhere it was the time was not enough like i remember just in the end just rushing just shading like it was not enough okay like the time was not enough it was just it was one of those exams that you finish and you don't even know how you did i genuinely did not know how i did like i was like i don't know i just went right i've done what i can do um so we had to wait a couple of hours for the results to come out eventually the results came and came to put it on the notice board so essentially if you saw your name on the notice board it meant that you had passed the exam and you were going to move on to the next stage which was the interview so not everyone who did the exam went into the interview but the interview was that same day so it was a really long day i remember that um by the time that i was going for my interview because i passed my exam yay um i, I feel like i just overskipped <laughs> but essentially when they put the results out there was like a rush and everything i checked I saw my name after a number of pages of not seeing my name and feeling like, oh my god. Because even though I knew I did not want to really be in tech, the place has started to grow on me, okay? Because we were really waiting for a while after the exam and started like to take in the environment. And I was like, oh, tech is really nice. Like the campus is not so bad. Because I mean, I'd seen like on campus like a couple of times because I was living in Accra, but. I never have been to tech before, so I was like, ooh, it's not, it's not bad. Like, I don't know why I was thinking, no, but like, it's not bad. Like, it, it's actually not, I, I can see myself here potentially, but I'm still like, team Legon, okay? But I was like, I was happy. I was excited that I passed the exam and I was going to go for the interview. So the interview to work with like a couple of, maybe like 10 for each room. So I was like sitting in front of my room, waiting my turn and I entered into the room. Like I said, guys, because I didn't want to go to tech, I was not even nervous for the interview as well. Like I entered in and I was smiling, I was happy. I was like, I'm practicing. This is practice. <laughs> so I, I go in for the interview and then um, there are basically like three, um, there are, no, there are two men. Um, two lecturers sitting in front of me and there's a seat so i'm sitting opposite them and then there are three bowls of questions that are folded so they are concealed you can't see them so i essentially like open up i take one from each and then i have to answer it okay so the first one was sort of like a general it, it was it was like general concepts in life sort of question what they asked me was how what do i think about criticism and how do i deal with it something along those lines and i remember my answer was just like oh criticism is good i mean it's important for you to get feedback if you're not doing something properly it's important for people to be able to tell you that but it's more about like how the person does it instead of like the person has to be kind with their crit criticism right like, come to bar but like yeah criticism and my my whole premise was like be kind with your criticism so i went on and on and on it was really good like I, I it was it was a fairly okay question for me 
and I see them nodding. I was like, ah, I'm, I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. The next question was a medical based question and it was basically saying that yeah mansa is coming to you for you to take her cerebrospinal fluid um do a procedure called a lumbar puncture at the time i had no idea what a lumbar puncture was i knew what cerebrospinal fluid was because obviously we did that in science but i didn't they were like okay so how would you go about telling them that you need to do a procedure so that was what the question was and i was like oh i would just introduce myself and tell them that oh I need to do the procedure but guys like when i was reading the official speech i was like mm -hmm. this answer is not hitting it's not hitting so i said i was like well another thing i also do is so i i, I kind of stopped and started thinking about how i would want a doctor to treat me as a patient and being young i always wanted doctors to be like smiling cracking jokes just kind of relieving the tension in the room if it was like an awkward moment so i was like oh, i'm going to crack jokes i'm going to make her smile i'm going to like tell her about to explain it to her blah 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 then it started nodding i was like yeah <laughs> so they were like okay but what if she says no i was like eh if she says no i was like she says no i'll try again i can ask her again and they were like what if she still says no and i'm like you know what I'm washing my hands. I was like, I'll just refer her to another doctor who have better luck with her. And they were like, oh, I was like, hey, hey, hey. Guys, honestly, it was nice. Then the last question was, I was here. The last question just brought me here. The last question was a general what do you know question. He said, who is the, um, the, who is the richest football player or, yeah, who is yeah, who is the richest football player and how much does he earn? Something along the lines of football and who who earns the most in football. So I was like, I don't know, guys, I do not know. And so I told them I did not know because I genuinely could not even make a guess. And so I told them honestly, I don't know. And then they were like, Oh, young lady, you know, you should be interested in other things apart from schoolwork, blah blah blah. And I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a young lady who's interested in other things apart from school. Okay? I'm not a nerd. I'm not one of those people who is always just in their books. Please, it's not me. So you push you free me. It's not me. I was like, oh, honestly, I actually like do other things. I even watch football. And that was true. Like I, I actually watch football every now and then. So I was like, oh, I actually watch football. My favorite team is Manchester United. And then one of them was like, oh, that's his favorite team too. And I was like, ah fa. <laughs> I was like, the Lord we said, he is a miracle working God. Guys, I was so, and he was like, oh, you're a money fan. I'm like, yes, I'm a money fan. I've been a money fan all my life. Like, they were like, oh, oh. It was, it was just like a bonding moment. And for that, Manchester United is always going to have a place in my heart because they've been there for me. They've been there for me. <laughs> Even though right now we're doing very, very terribly and I don't bother myself watching anymore. I don't even keep up because I'm like, ah. it's not me, but I'm coming to stress. But even when I went to, if you see my previous vlogs, you can just go and check them out. I went to the UK and I I went to Manchester, the stadium. Yeah, I want to take a picture of them. I'm going to insert the, the pictures on somewhere. But yeah, that's because they, they have a spot in my heart. They have a spot in my heart. In my, in my heart. But yeah. That was pretty much the end of the interview. It went really well, and they were like, and then they were like, okay, um, you hear like you would hear back from us. I was like, okay, that's nice. So I eventually went back to Accra, um, with my mom, and I was like, oh, this was a, a good experience. Like I feel like it's prepped me for Legon. Like Legon, here I come. Even though at the time I still did not know whether I was going to get caught by Legon, but that same week Legon actually called, oh, so they like published the names and my name was filed, or those who are going to come for the exam. So I was happy, I was like, okay, I've got an experience. And even this time, Legon, I had a bit more, because the Legon exam was on Saturday, and I think we got to know like a bit, like maybe Monday or Tuesday or something, maybe Tuesday, I can't remember. Um, so I was, I tried to learn small, small, small. We went for the Legon exam, it was similar to the tech exam, it was from everywhere, some and it was also over a couple of hours but with the legon one we, they made us go home so we didn't wait for the results that day they were like oh do we eventually publish the results on the website and the legon exam as well i didn't feel any i was just like i don't know because it was also difficult it was some way i was like i don't know i don't know what i can do sunday came that was the very next day and then they were like oh results are out results are out guys i went to check 
and I failed. I did not pass the exam, guys. I did not pass the exam. I did not. And oh god, this is I've been filming for 21 minutes, but this is going to be really long. But do bear with me, it's just a long story of how I got into medical school. But yeah, guys, I didn't pass the open exam and I cried. When I say I cried, <laughs> I cried though, I cried my eyes out. Like I seriously, seriously cried. Um because I genuinely wanted to go to Legon at the time and I was just like, this is it, it's gone. And so I didn't get called for the interview. I didn't tell anyone that day. I was just in my feelings. I was just sad. I think I just told my sister. I didn't tell my parents. And I was just like, the one didn't accept me. <laughs> but at the same time, like later on the day, I think or the next day, I kind of go over it. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. Um, God knows best. At the end of the day, what can you say to, your, to yourself? <laughs> Apart from God knows best. So I just encouraged myself with God knows best. And I was just like, after I told my parents, like, oh, maybe like tech will come through and everything. And I was like, okay, let's wait and see. Because at that time, I still did not hear, I had not heard back from tech. So I was just there living my life. And then that same week, like everything happened over the span of two weeks. That same week on Thursday, uh, my sister walks up to me and asks me a question. And I essentially know that I've gone into medical school because she, I know that she had seen something. I grab my phone from her, I start shouting because I see the message, you're going to medical school in tech. And I was just so excited. I screamed my head off because more than anything, I wanted to go to medical school. So I did not really care so much for where, and out of the, the two I selected, I knew I did not push comes to show I did not mind going that's why I went to take that's why I didn't even buy UDS phone because I knew I did not want to go to those schools so like at the end of the day like I knew that okay well I can go and I'd already seen the campus and everything and it was fine um so I was really happy um I screened my head off I'm sure the entire area here is excited I was like oh god thank you and so that's the story of how I got into medical school ended up going to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi Ghana and I do not regret it okay Kenya University was such a fun school it was amazing I met really amazing people made amazing friends in school like even my first year like I did not it was great like I had great roommates I had a good number of my friends ended up going to tech as well so i was not even lonely i was in akuko republic hall which was a fun hall um yeah it was an all-around good experience obviously every school has its flaws okay if, if i say i'm going to list the issues to kenya to medical school i will find things to say but ultimately i still think that they did a really great job the lecturers there are lots of good lecturers lots of good doctors um consultants that really like helped um, give us you know the kind of start that we needed for our medical like life so i'm um, definitely like, i don't have any regrets you get like i actually don't have any regrets and leaving home to um kenya west which was in Kumasi was like six hours away also really taught me a lot about like independence and just being on my own like it helped me to grow like because my plan was i was going to be in a crowd going to be in legon and every weekend i'll be in the house blah blah blah, blah. but obviously Kenya used to not give me that luxury. Like, okay, I used to come home like, well, how many times? Actually, when I went to like clinical years, it was so bad. Rarely came home, but it helped. You know, I feel like in some ways it kind of grew me, I guess. So yeah, like that's really how I got into medical school. And I'm gonna stop talking now because this is a really long video, and I didn't want it to be this long. But I hope you enjoyed this story time. Um, if you have not subscribed please subscribe okay like this video comment um what other videos you want me to do there's actually a video that i want to i want to film on medicine very soon and that's basically how to select your um how to select hospitals for doing your housemanship okay so i feel like there are a few things pointers that i can give because i've done my house shop already like i'm done with my house shop now um so i would like to do that video and, and so keep your eyes out for that video very soon and um, apart from that i think that's gonna be all from me love you and bye